Thanks for joining us to Meet a Goan member, where we introduce the entire Omega-3 universe, one member at a time. Today's member will be the Good Food Institute, who will be represented by Claire Baumkamp, the lead scientist for cultivated meat and seafood. Claire, thanks, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks, Chris. Very excited to be here. What is it that you would like the more than 180 current GOED members to know about what the Good Food Institute does day to day? So the Good Food Institute is a nonprofit that's focused on accelerating the alternative protein industry. And so when we say alternative proteins, we mean um, everything from plant-based meats, and eggs and dairy, to uh, protein products derived from fermentation, to cultivated meat, um, which is essentially grown from animal cells outside of the animal. Um, and so we are, uh, like I said, a nonprofit. We're funded by philanthropy. And so um, we're not here to support particular companies. We're really kind of here to support the growth of the industry as a whole and to act as a hub to connect companies, suppliers, academics, um, policymakers, um, and really kind of um, be that rising tide that lifts all boats. Um, and so the reason that we're really excited to be involved with GoEd is especially when it comes to alternative seafood, um, we've done a lot of thinking about kind of what are going to be the future bottlenecks that could face our industry. And one of those is a supply of omega-3 fatty acids. So as we think about, um, you know, rising demand for seafood, um, we think that alternative seafood has a, a really huge play, a huge role to play in filling those gaps, but it's not going to do that successfully without a source of omega-3s. Um, and so that's why we're really excited to um, be working with GOED um, and we're definitely always excited to um, help make connections between suppliers and alternative protein companies. So if that's you, please reach out. And it sounds like you touched on this briefly already, but from, you know, from the work that you do, from the perspective that you occupy, what do you think is the biggest challenge that we as an industry should be ready for as maybe somebody who's um, kind of moving into that space from a new place? I think the projected increase in demand for seafood is something that we really need to be aware of and thinking about proactively. So there are some stats about, you know, fisheries that are either overfished, maximally sustainably fished or underfished. And the percentage that's underfished is really where we tend to focus because that's kind of where there's um, room for growth. And it's only something like 7%, um, according to the best estimates we have. And so what that really means is as we think about the combination of population growth and rising incomes, um, what does that mean for demand for seafood? It means it's, um, you know, every reliable projection says it's going to go up. And so where does that growth come from? Um, and then on the aquaculture side, there's also projections from the FAO looking at, you you know, the percentage of fisheries that um, have room to or that have the potential to keep up with rising demand. Um, and I think it's something like 10% of fisheries. So there's really this huge gap in terms of the seafood that people are going to want in the coming decades and what our current technology is able to provide. Um, and so we, we really see alternative seafood as, as a huge player in filling that gap. Um, and of course, omega-3s are a big part of that. And then uh, now for, for our third and final question, a bit of gentle hazing of a new member. It's, it's an unusual question that we ask everybody, though. It's, it's if you had to choose any, any metaphor to represent GFI's mission or special qualities or, or attributes, what metaphor would you choose and why? Yeah, so um, I'm going to go with an animal metaphor here, um, choosing the axolotl. And the reason for that is we're in we're in a really fun space in the alt protein industry because it's you know it's a really big question: how do we make meat that um, you know from plants, microbes, or or cells? How do we make meat that really kind of ticks all the boxes in terms of what people want out of a food product, um, and also does better on things like um, biodiversity, climate change, um, human health, um, global food security, all of those things. How do we do the best possible job at that? And there's so many questions that that brings up in terms of, you know, um, what is what is the scale up process look like? How do all the supply chains fit together? Who needs to be talking to each other? Um, and so if you if you have a conversation with anyone from GFI, um, we are very quick to go down rabbit holes and we will. Um, and so this is why I'm saying we're an axolotl is because we axolotl questions. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. 
Well, thanks very much, Clary. So yeah, thanks thanks for uh, taking the initiative to join GoEd. We're, we're glad to have you and I'll make sure that all of your fellow GoEd members know how to get in touch with you with any questions. Thanks again. Thanks, Chris. We're excited to be part of this.